In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you top 10 tricks on how to shoot better using your iPhone. My name is James Martin from Match Cut Media and Promotion, and welcome to the Creative Zone. And starting off our list is our number 10, framing. When you're shooting in portrait, you're getting rid of all the extra space that you could be capturing. Plus, when you post this on Facebook, when you post this on YouTube or elsewhere, you're gonna get one area where we can see stuff and then two big black bars on the side. That's wasted real estate. Ideally, you do not wanna be shooting in portrait, you wanna shoot in landscape. So turn your phone on your side, take pictures and videos like that from now on. You're taking up all the space when you're playing it back later on. Number nine is shakiness. When you're taking pictures, when you're taking videos, and particularly when you're on the go, normally you're gonna hold your phone with your hands just so you can get stuff done quickly. First off, a lot of people like to hold with one hand. Try holding it with two hands. That way the weight gets evenly dispersed amongst both your arms and hands. The second thing you wanna do is take both your elbows and place them kindly on your body so that all the weight is kindly distributed amongst the entire body, your arms, and your hands, and that will reduce the shakiness and give you more stabilization. Number eight is focus. Focus is the difference between things being blurry and things being sharp. As you're looking at your image, you're gonna press and hold a particular part on the screen that you want to adjust the focus to, such as your subject or your background, and automatically it's gonna start focusing on that. Otherwise, it has an automatic focus. It's going to automatically adjust to whatever is in the foreground, if it's your subject or if it's a landscape, an object, whatever it is. But if you want to manually do this, just press and hold that area on the screen. Number seven I want to talk about is exposure. This is how bright or how dark your image is. And you can adjust the exposure the same way how you adjust the focus. First off, your camera does do it automatically. So if you're in a dark room, it's automatically going to make things brighter. And if you're outside and if it's really, really bright, it's gonna make things a little darker so you can see the details a little bit better, but you can always change this manually. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold an area on the screen that you wanna adjust. There's automatically gonna be a line on the side that you can go up and down with, and that's gonna make things brighter or darker so you can adjust it otherwise. Number six is why I like to refer to as the one-man team. And there are three parts of this. You have a timer, you have flash, and you have the flip camera. The timer gives you an opportunity and gives you space between pressing the shutter button versus when it takes the picture. So first off, it can do it automatically, or it can give you two seconds or 10 seconds to adjust. This is perfect for when you're doing a selfie or if you're putting a camera away and taking pictures of a family, for instance. Set the camera to something like 10 seconds, press the picture, come around in front, and that's gonna take the picture. It gives you a chance to get into a pose or something along those lines. Flashes, these are lights inside the camera that just add a little bit more light to your image. And of course, the other part is the flip camera. So obviously, when you're taking pictures of yourself, like a selfie, or you're talking to the camera, you do wanna know what the heck you look like, how everything is framing up, how everything looks in the camera. You can just press the flip camera. You can automatically see exactly what the camera sees. Number five I want to talk about is the time lapse. This is where instead of recording a long period of time, it's actually taking pictures every few seconds. And then it's going to compile all the pictures into one short video. You could take a two hour time lapse and it's going to make it down to just less than half a minute. You're going to go to your camera, go down to the video options. One of those will be a time lapse. Press and hold the time lapse button and it's going to go for as long as it needs be until you either run out of space or until you press stop. You do not have to do any editing to this because it's going to take all those pictures and automatically put them into one small video they can start using right away. Number four is slow motion. It's very straightforward and it's exactly what it is. It makes everything slower than usual. You can find this in the same area that you find the time lapse. You can start using this right away. You don't have to do any editing later on. Number three is fixing in the phone. You don't have to take your pictures elsewhere. You don't have to do this on a computer. You can do it right in your phone. If you go down to the options, it gives you an option for either changing the lighting, changing the color, or changing the aspect ratio, the cropping, and the tilting. So the cropping is just adjusting how much of the image you want to see versus how much you want to take away. Tilting, if it's done in a corner, it's going to make things straight. You can adjust the brightening by going to the settings. It's going to change either brightness altogether, set the contrast, set the highlights, set the brightness. You can go to color, change the saturation, change the tone, make it warmer, make it 
more orange or make it colder by making it bluer, or you can change the contrast between all the colors. Number two are filters. Now there's two parts to this. There's either inside your camera or outside of it. Inside the phone rather, it gives you some built-in filters. Or filters that just, they change the color, they change the mood, and they give you a little bit of styling to your picture or your video before you use it elsewhere. Then there's the outside your phone, the outside your camera part. And these are sites like Instagram, Snapchat, even most applications you can get to your iPhone. These just have built-in filters that just add a little bit of style to your pictures or your your videos. And the last one is share, post, and upload. Again, you don't have to take this to your computer, you can do this straight from your phone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you take everything from going inside your camera and then taking it out. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you'd like to request for other tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know your thoughts, your ideas. Did we explain something clearly enough or do you need more explanation on some other stuff? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box down below and that way you don't ever miss a video that gets uploaded, like our tutorials, our vlogs, or other stuff that we upload to our channel. You can also go to our website at www.matchcutmedia.com for more information. And until next time, get creative, and we'll see you back in the creative zone.